What's going on, everybody? Welcome to G Myers World. And right now, we're going to be playing one of these countdown to kickoff solos for Super Bowl 52. And I'm going to be giving you my prediction of the Eagles versus the Patriots. Now, I'm not a fan of either team. Why am I the Patriots in this, though? I don't know what's going on. That, that seems kind of weird. I'm supposed to have my zero chill uniform. And it's like weird that I'm telling you I'm not a fan, but I'm picking the Patriots. Um, but yeah, don't mind that. Uh, pretty much what's going to be happening right now is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to dissect. Wait a minute. Before we get to that, why does Dante Culpepper have like an 88 trucking? whatever, bro, it doesn't really matter. Let me just go back to what we were talking about. This is what I predict, and this is what my like my gut feeling is what I've been getting from this game, right? What's going to be happening? The Patriots are going to beat the blood out of the Eagles. That's what I'm predicting. You see what I'm saying? Like, I don't see, in my logical mind, right? And I'm, and I'm trying to be logical, even though I've been playing a lot of Madden, so you could probably say that I'm semi-crazy. It doesn't make sense that we can bet against Tom Brady and Bill Belichick because history has proven to us that either Tom Brady is going to get very, very lucky via the tuck rule or just heaven's going to fall. Like, it's just going to fall from the sky, which would happen with the, you know, with the Falcons, how they came back 28 to 3, which the Falcons did help them by not running the ball and also choking more than anything that I've ever seen in my life. Like, it's ridiculous. They, they, the Falcons, everybody should have been fired. Uh, everybody. I don't care. It don't matter who, who was in there. Like, I would come down from the box and just start, like, you're fired, you're fired, you're fired. Like, everybody has to be fired. It doesn't make a difference. But some reason, Dan Quinn was still there. Whatever, it doesn't matter. All right, so we got to score eight points. And how many? What, what is this? All right, this is arcade mode. All right, we're just throwing a hot one right down the field, right in the coverage. Then I'm going to go for two like an idiot and um, pretty much just do whatever I want. Wait, wait, why did he do it? I, oh, I have to be Tom Brady right now? What up, bro? Okay, I gotta be the goat. All right, yo, Edel oh, you gotta play actually with Edelman too. All right, let's truck him, stiff arm him, stiff arm him in the net. Yo, bro, in the net too. All right, so look, let me get back to what I'm saying. I'm predicting a blog, and you're probably gonna say, G my what are you talking about? They don't usually win by that many points. Let me explain to you why I think they're gonna blow them out. There has never been this much confidence in the Patriots, like out in the open, Bill Belichick going to basketball games out in the open, Tom Brady, Tom versus Time series on Facebook. So many different things have been going on to kind of let me see that they don't respect Nick Foles. It's not the Eagles team. Because remember, I understand that Trent Dilfer, um, you know, he won a championship with the uh, with the Baltimore Ravens, you know, when they when they faced off against whoever they did in 2000. I can't remember. Who did they beat on like that? Was it the Giants? I, they beat on somebody. I can't remember who it was, who the Ravens beat on. But it was pretty, pretty bad. But look, they had an unbelievable defense, right? The Eagles' defense is not comparable to that Ravens' D. I'm sorry. People have been saying, yeah, bro, yo, I think it is. No, 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 no. Ray Lewis has six bodies on him. They only got him for two. Okay, that dude was a savage when he played. So don't at me. You see what I'm saying? Don't at me. I'm going to let you know that right now. So let, let's let's just go forward with it, right? Because we know that Ray Lewis and a bunch of those other goonies were on the squad, right? That defense to me, which sucks, like it was just, it was an unbelievable experience, all right? Trent Dilfer got away with one. I don't know what Nick Foles were going to get, okay? I don't know what Nick Foles were going to get. So because I don't know what Nick Foles were going to get, it's making me very nervous to say for any reason that they could possibly beat the New England Patriots. And look, a lot of you guys hate on Tom Brady. Like, I already know a lot of the comments are going to be like, yeah, but Tom Brady cheated. He did this. He did that. You know what's funny about all the stuff that, you know, people people know or have heard? It seems to all be rumored. Like, even they had Mike Martz, right, on Undisputed last week. And he was saying that people said that, you know, they they, they um, recorded all of their um, their practices and all kinds of madness, right? All these things were happening. Yet still, the coaches, when they talk about it, the only they don't really show a lot of emotion and feeling to it because they're like, look, if they did all that stuff, how did they only win by three? And that's a head coach. In my, like, he actually said it with the Rams when they beat him. That's when the whole dynasty started. How? How could, how could if you know what somebody's doing, what is the point of cheating if you're not going to get everything out of it? That's what, you see, that's why I have an issue with a lot of the things that people say about, yeah, this and that. I'm very, very upset for Charles Woodson that he didn't get that ring with the Raiders because of the tuck rule. I'm very, see, that, I, I don't like that because that was made up for Tom Brady. See, that was like special treatment. That, to me, was unacceptable. But when you talk about Spygate, right, and the whole thing about, the, the NFL destroying all the evidence. It's very, very hard for me to believe that they were doing all of this stuff. And then yet still, when you look at all the lines, they don't really dominate. You know, they don't dominate like that in the Super Bowl. So 
either Bill Belichick doesn't know how to cheat the right way or the, the players are not executing the game plan the right way, which we all know is not true because he coaches, look, look he does a great job of coaching his team and getting them prepared. So we know, okay, we know that in this case, Somebody has to be overstating the truth. And like I said, I'll continue to say this about Eric Mangini. Eric Mangini is one of the most unloyal people I've ever like laid eyes on. You know what I'm saying? Like this dude is running around talking about, yeah, I wouldn't have said anything if he didn't do it to me. So pretty much you only tell on, you only tell on somebody if it affects you. It was affecting the entire league. And when it benefited you, you were quiet. But because he did it against you when you were a coach, now you got to snitch. I don't respect Eric Mangini as a man. You know what I'm saying? That's just like that's just my view on it. Because look, if you're cheating with the team and you're gaining benefits from it, you're part of it. So I don't want that whole Eric Mangini thing. Also, that's another reason why I don't even listen. All of, even with all the descriptions and everything that happened, look at what they've been able to do despite all of that. By gate, spy gate, all kind of gate with my gate plus your gate. Like if you got a gate outside, you're part of the gate. All of these things that they're doing, and they still just keep winning. It doesn't make any sense. The reason that I'm going back and forth right now is because this said it's supposed to be a new hourly challenge until the start of the Super Bowl, but they haven't reset it yet for some reason. I wanted to do another one as I continue to um, to talk to you about what's going on with it. So, you know, as I continue to go further into my logic about why I'm actually picking the Patriots with a blowout, I just think it's time. I just think it's time for them to completely dominate. I, could, I, I think it's time to show that it doesn't really matter what anybody else thinks but them. I think it's time to show, you know, we we are this great. Because even with Bill Belichick and Tom Brady arguing, what has that done? All, all that's done, in my opinion, is make them want to play better together as a team to beat people down, you know, just for whatever reason. It doesn't even matter. It's just really, really weird the way that people just don't understand. Like, look, this is what it is right now. The Patriots are a dynasty, like, from, from the, the last 10, whatever many years, they've done things that no other franchise has, has ever done. Records broken, how many times? Tom Brady's about to get it. Just think about this, bro. Tom Brady's about to get his sixth Super Bowl ring. He's about to get his sixth Super Bowl ring. That's ridiculous. In, yo, when you start thinking about rings like that, and you try to go to Bill Russell, where he had, like, 11, you know, Michael Jordan had six, you start to think about the people that's in it. But when we're talking about football... It's like, what? You run into somebody be like, yeah, man, this dude that ran that 40 in his combine, that guy, that's, that, yeah, that, that guy that was doing that, yeah, that guy. That guy is a guy that's going to have six rings right now. Who's going to believe that? Who, who's going who's gonna to believe what Tom Brady's life has become? And that's what I think is a big basis behind the fact that a lot of people are upset with him. You know what I'm saying? It's because it's like this dude right here running around looking like, yo, that dude has no, uh, at, he, had, he was walking, bro, no athleticism. The dude literally had no athleticism to him, bro. And he did all this stuff, and he's breaking all these things, and he's doing all this uh, elasticity with his arms and all kind of stupidness and, you know, telling people not to lift weights and doing all kinds of madness. But it appears to be working. And I, why, why, why his face is like that? But it, it, this is my issue, right? Because a lot of the Eagle fans are going to say, yeah, but they're going to be pushing up the front and all kind of stuff going to be going on, and they're going to be doing this and doing that. Listen, man, I don't care what they're doing. I don't care what the Eagles do, bro. I really just don't even care what they do. It just seems like it's lining up for a Patriots blowout. That's what it looks like to me. You know what I'm saying? It, they, they're, it's too relaxed. And the only reason that I can imagine why they're so relaxed is because of the quarterback that they're playing against. They have no reason to fear Nick Foles. I don't care what they did to the Vikings. You're probably going to say, yeah, the Vikings were the number one defense. Not on that day they weren't. They sucked. Anybody on the team will tell you they sucked. They played poorly. There was not a lot of communication. It was horrible. You got torched by Nick Foles. Get over it. You understand what I'm saying? But all in all, you can't compare what happened with one team to another team. And not and look, the, the, the number one thing that people say to you when you say, yeah, they're going to do this, they're going to do that, they say number 12, and then you proceed to shut up. Number 12, when people start saying number 12, why does everybody automatically, when they say number 12, they already know you're talking about Tom Brady? Like, not, it don't matter what sport you're talking about, you, you, you just be like, yo, number 12. They're like, oh, Tom? It's a reason for that. It's a, it's a reason the man has stapled himself as the greatest quarterback to ever play. And no matter what you say or do, you have to deal with that, regardless of the fan, whatever you are, whatever it is, you have to deal with that. So it doesn't appear that they're going to give us 
the countdown to the kickoff, um, the hourly challenge, unless everybody at EA Sports is completely drunk and um, they just don't care anymore because it, it was supposed to be updating every hour. But let me, let me back out of it and come back in and see if it does it. But yeah, other than that, that's pretty much my prediction of what's going to happen, okay? I don't, unless the defense is able to get, you know, like what the Falcons did when, they, when, when uh, Tom Brady threw that pick six, unless that happens or they, they're able to score off of a turnover and they up and then the Patriots have to play from behind and they're able to really control Gronkowski, you know what I'm saying? Maybe maybe Malcolm, Buck, you know, what is it? Not Malcolm Jenkins, one-on-one -on -one can control Gronk to the best of his ability. I don't see that happening because Gronk is a giant. It's just so many ways that I'm thinking about it. I'm like, yo, it's just logically no way that I can realistically see that they can beat the Patriots. And that's, that's what I'm going with. I want to know what you guys are going with, and that's why I'm making the video approximately one hour before the Super Bowl starts so you guys can see what my whole synopsis of it was, what I thought about it, why I thought what I thought, and just a little bit of background about, you know, I agree with a lot of the points that you guys make, but to a certain extent about the cheating. Because if you, look, if you get, if you catch me cheating, right, if I have an edge, like with the pine tar in baseball and stuff like that, all the, th those advantages, you can see the, you know, what, you know, the, the, the reaction to how it works within the game. What can you show me in any of the Super Bowls that's like, yo, he knew the signs, he knew the symbol. The dude, they won by three. They average winning by four and a half points, some stupidness like that. It doesn't make sense. So at, at some point, somebody's going to have to admit that the Patriots dynasty is probably the greatest dynasty ever. And they're going to have to make do with Bill Belichick. Because in my, in my opinion, Bill Belichick is the greatest coach to ever coach. I know he had that time in uh, the uh, Cleveland that he just wants to forget. Everybody, that's like that ex that you got that, you know, you took her to a party and she sharded. You know, like when you fart, a little bit of you know, a little bit of doodle comes out, like, and you gotta you gotta try to forget that. Everybody has something like that that they go through in their life. You know what I'm saying, bro? And and you know, the Cleveland Browns was there was Bill Belichick shard. You know, they, he sharded right there, but he made up for it. He's been able to accomplish a lot of things that people otherwise will never, in my opinion, in our lifetime, be able to accomplish. And I think it's time for us to give them their due. Okay, so going forward, right now. I'm taking the Patriots big. I think it's going to be a blowout. I want to know what you guys and girls are thinking. Let me know. Until next time, G Myers World, one love.